It's been a month since Notre Dame had its first brush with the coronavirus. In the early hours of Saturday, February 29th, we began the evacuation of our students from Italy. Since then, we've suspended all programming overseas, delayed the return of students to campus after spring break, and eventually suspended all in-person instruction on campus until the end of the semester. Today, we mark a more positive milestone as we completed our first week of successful distance teaching and learning. This massive shift was relatively smooth thanks to the commitment, ingenuity, and just plain hard work of many. My primary message is simply one of thanks and congratulations for what you've accomplished to date. Thanks to our faculty who had to pivot so abruptly to online instruction. Thanks to our students who had to travel home and are working remotely. Thanks to those in the Office of Information Technology, administrative leaders, and those across the university who simply pitched in and did what needed to be done. Yesterday, I wrote a letter to our 2020 graduates that I had hoped I wouldn't have to send. Commencement means so much to our graduates and their families, and we very much wanted to celebrate it on campus. After consultation with medical experts, however, we concluded it would not be prudent to host a large ceremony on campus, bringing together families from across the country and around the world, many with older or at-risk members. We will have an online ceremony on May 17th at which I will confer degrees on graduates. We will then invite our graduates back to campus for the Memorial Day weekend 2021 to gather the class and celebrate their accomplishments. Finally, we must all recognize that as we struggle to confront a global health crisis, we, along with higher education generally, our nation and the world, face a serious economic crisis. The decline in the economy, the downturn of the markets, and the rise in unemployment creates hardships for all, and these will be felt at Notre Dame. In a recent letter, Shannon Cullen and our executive vice president expressed our commitment to doing all we can to support our current employees while instituting a freeze on new hiring and asking all units to eliminate non-essential expenses. We will communicate further steps as needed. As we make decisions to ensure the long-term financial health of the university, our key priorities will be continuing the university's center work of teaching and research, providing the financial aid necessary to support students whose families are under greater financial stress, and finally, supporting our workforce. In recent weeks, you've shown again that at Notre Dame, we've become stronger and more united when we fight through adversity. It's what we do. That's why they call us the Fighting Irish. God bless you all and remember, we are still Notre Dame, even when we're far apart.